Jira Service Management, Jira Service Management Overview. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be discussing Jira Service Management, which is a management tool created by Atlassian. So it is one of the most popular management tools out there, like other management tools like Freshdesk or HubSpot. You know, it's in the game. It's one of the top management tools. And I'm just going to show you guys a quick overview and a quick summary of how this platform works, how to get started, and is it worth it or not. So before we get started, if we take a look at their key features over here, you can take a look at their request management, incident management, knowledge management, asset management. Then they also have, you know, a lot of at the go applications as well for you to manage your business. Now to get started, all you have to do is click on get for free on the top right. And then you're just going to select Jira and then we're just going to click on next. And now you can choose to sign up with Google or sign up with your email address. So I'm just going to continue on with Google and it is going to be free for up to three managers or three people. So a team of three can work on Jira for absolutely free and after that you would actually have to upgrade now after that you're just going to add your website name like so so I'm just going to go on to my Wix website so we're just going to open up our Wix website and link that over here so I'm just going to name the site that I'm going to be using at Jira to be the WePD and we're just going to click on agree over here. It is a bit difficult to find appropriate names on Jira service management. It's a bit annoying. A lot of the stuff is already taken, but you can usually find something good enough for your, for your management system. Now, after that, you're going to tell them what type of team you are going to be working in. So let's say we're going to be working in marketing and let's say you're the marketing director and you can add some of your multiple of your tasks to better optimize your experience, but I'm just going to skip this. And now you can see that our site is starting up it takes a little bit of time to actually get started with your service management because they do create such a custom tailored experience so you will have to wait a couple of minutes for this bar to be filled up and then you can begin with your actual setup so we're just going to wait for this to finish and it is almost finished so we're just going to wait for our atlassian or our jira service management tool to load up now i'm just going to click on next over here and you're going to choose the kind of template that you want to use so i'm going to use a general service project template and i'm just going to rename this into marketing and then you're going to add your key which is going to be the password and i'm just going to add the password as uuu and then i'm just going to click on create project and now i can begin using jira service management so in general, the setup process is easy. It doesn't take a lot of time. It is a bit occupied sometimes. It might be a bit slow, but usually once you have set up, it fixes itself automatically. Now on your top, you have your navigation panel and you can see if you click on Jira over here, you can switch to Jira software, Jira service management, Trello and administration. Then you have your your work section. You have your different projects. You have filters, you have dashboards, you have people, and you also have app integrations that you can integrate onto your Jira service manager. And then on your top right, you have your account, you have your settings, information and notification so if we go on over here click on jira service management this would lead us directly to our project section where we can actually start managing our projects so you can see I have this general service project and you can just click on this and now you can see how this works. Now you will see on your left side, you will have a navigation panel open up a pop up and you can close this and open this up where you will be able to manage your queues. Then you can also raise a request and for that a new page would be open and you can create a new request. Then you also have your knowledge base. So all of your information for your service center could be stored over here. Let's say that if you have a set script that your employees have to follow for a certain kind of request then you can just upload all that information into the knowledge base now below that you have your report section so you can take a look at the agents and their reports the issues in progress that they have faced and you can just add all of those over here and this will enable you to monitor your team very well especially if you're in a managerial position then this tool is going to be super helpful then you will also have your satisfaction your reflex deflected request resolved so how many people are you know not taking enough requests how many people are actually resolving requests and the overall workload of each individual member and these kinds of features are super exclusive to jira you will not find these kinds of detailed reports in any other service management tool which is most definitely a standout feature for jira and it really does take the cake in terms of service
service management tutor or like service management applications or service management project controllers now below that you have your channels and people and we have our four basic channels the widget help center email and chat now below that you have your invite team so you can invite your teammates on to jira and for the first three people it will be free and after that you will have to upgrade to a premium version of jira and then you also have your customer section form here you're going to be saving all of your customer information and then you can also add organizations if you're using this for communication management and you can also add customers over here by email and you can add specific customers to specific organizations and this is one of the features that i love as well is that not only can you manage your own customer ticketing but you can also do organizational ticketing directly on the jira service management platform now below that you have shortcuts so you can add certain shortcuts directly on jira to further optimize your work experience and then you have your project settings that you can uh, customize so you can add a custom avatar you can add the project lead you can add the uh, default assignee for a new tasks or new tickets then you also have your key you have your url and you have your project name so you can just customize all of this to fit your project now you can go back into your projects so whatever project you're working on and we're just going to go and open up the queue section so this is just empty over here and you can click on this to edit queues clone queues and delete queues and on your top center you have the create button so you can just click on create and create a task and you can add like a specific request type so if it's an email request or submit a request for incident and then you can also add your issue types and then add all of the information directly from here and your queue or task would be created created onto your service manager. So Jira is amazing and we will take a short look at their pricing. So the free version is always free for three agents. So you can add three people onto your free team. You have an unlimited customer limit. You have one site limit. You have a Atlassian community support. You have two gigabytes of file storage. You can send over a hundred emails per day with self service support portals. And you have other features like SLA management, apps and integrations, uh, service registries. You also have the deployment tracking, knowledge management, and change calendar. You have risk assessment uh, engines as well. And now if we move on to the premium versions, we can go on to the standard version starting at $20 per month where you have access to over 5,000 agents you can add. Then the premium version starts at $45 per month in which you can also add 5,000 agents. And you also have a uptime SLA of 99.9% with unlimited file storage that is available to you. And you also have forms and all the other features in the other versions with advanced alert integrations, incident conference calls, incident investigation, and heartbeat monitoring, and so much more. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that I have taught you within this video. And make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well. And to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites so i hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if i missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and i will catch you guys in the next video